Thanks for stopping by the channel today as the trending traders discuss VAXART, ticker VXRT. Stick around as Michael discusses what's to come in this video and as always, if you enjoyed watching, please click that like button and if you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. That's right. Today, guys, we're talking VaxArt. We're both VaxArt bulls. We both have our opinions about this company. We'd like to tell you a little bit more. And at the end, I'm going to hit you with a little bit of technical analysis, tell you my price points, get you out of here. Thank you. It would seem the trend to produce COVID-related pharmaceuticals has been a profitable market for many biotech companies. Vaxart is a standout company with their oral vaccine technology. This vaccination method utilizing shelf-stable tablets means that the drug is far more accessible to people than a standard intravenous vaccine. The benefits of something like this seems pretty obvious and in my opinion means there is a potential for these vaccines to be sold in high volumes on a global scale. The majority of VaxArt's pipeline includes prophylactic vaccines and one therapeutic vaccine for patients with HPV targeting cervical cancer and dysplasia. The other afflictions being targeted are norovirus, RSV, influenza, and COVID-19. Looking at the pipeline, it would seem VaxArt is poised to be a real frontrunner in the vaccine market once their products make it through the FDA approval process. VaxArt does currently have two drugs on the market that were acquired in the reverse merger with Averagen Therapeutics back in 2018. These two drugs, Relenza and Intivir, have both provided royalties for the company, adding to the cash on hand, which stands around $160 million to date. Most of the projects in the works for Vaxart have been put on hold while their team focuses on bringing their COVID-19 solution to market. HPV, RSV, and the influenza projects have been halted or are awaiting a partnership to continue the process of bringing these products to market. The motivation for this team seems to be in the right place when you consider the massive investment in research and development in comparison to the administrative costs. As a trader, this tells me that this company believes in spending their money bringing drugs to market rather than paying inflated salaries to executives. I love seeing this because I know there will be many catalysts to come. Another factor that plays into my excitement about Vaxart is the fact that they are actively hiring a lot of staff. This includes every aspect of business from an executive position to IT, scientists, and everything in between. This represents huge growth and a bright future for Vaxart. Overall, I believe this is a great company to do your research into and consider both investing and trading. Long term, Vaxart has the potential to truly change the vaccine game and raise the value of their stock substantially. Short term, like many biotech or biopharmaceutical companies, comes the potential catalyst from drugs progressing through clinicals and furthering along in the FDA approval process. This is a must buy in my book. As Shane mentioned, Vaxart went public via this reverse merger. They announced it in 2017 and after it was finalized in traditional fashion, it was followed by a reverse split, in this case 1 to 11, which happened in 2018. This gave Vaxart rights to a couple of drugs as discussed earlier and was made possible because the company that they merged with had two major failed back-to-back -back drugs, which devastated their stock as one could imagine. The combined company proposed that it would be lower risk because Vaxart drugs were already deemed safe and effective in the clinic, both in preventing disease and disease transmission of these viral diseases. Fast forward to 2020 and the world is engulfed in this strange new virus. Several new companies are coming to save the day and those include several of the companies we've already covered on this channel, including ATOS and Ocugen. I will link those in the top right corner. Check those videos out if you'd like to after this. Now, a company like Vaxart, given that they're a vaccine technology company, should be well poised for this sort of transition. The technology that Vaxart uses is based on a viral vector design. And this may sound like gibberish to you, but I'm here to tell you that this is basically the same design that AstraZeneca and J&J &J are using in their viruses. They use a little bit different backbone, but it's essentially the same technology. The real advantage here is that instead of an intramuscular injection in your arm, Vaxart will give you a tablet, which is much more easily taken by people who are scared of needles 
or just afraid of getting shots in general. This could lead to widespread vaccine adoption and reduce vaccine hesitancy in particular populations. And also, because this vaccine is a tablet, it's stored at room temperature, which means it's capable of being transported to some of the most remote places in the world and still be effective. And that's a huge advantage. The thing is, the team at Vaxart has been doing great research on this topic for a really long time. This includes some really great research to understand fully how to design their capsule to survive the stomach acids. This is actually a really critical step, as a capsule that doesn't make it to the small intestine, or one that makes it beyond the small intestine, is much less likely to be effective. They first had to figure out which part of the GI tract was going to be most efficient. They did this by using a radio-controlled capsule. That's right, an RC capsule. This allowed them to selectively release their modified virus in various locations around the small intestine. This shows to me that the team is really willing to take risks and utilize cutting edge technology to study their drugs before headed to the clinic. And the man behind these decisions and technology is Sean Tucker. He is the founder of Vaxart and has been working on vaccine technology since at least 2003, according to his publication record. Now, nobody even really cared about Vaxar until the pandemic, and in fact, in the early days of 2020, the stock was trading below $3. Now, Vaxar has had some beautiful bull runs, and I hope that you guys have really caught some of that, but I do think that Vaxar will run again. Most of the runs seem to be gamma squeezes when really beautiful data has been released from clinical trials or other major catalysts. So Vaxart has this really interesting pipeline. They're obviously working on COVID, which is a huge catalyst. The question is, is it a buy right now? Well, I'm gonna take you over to Weeble and we're gonna take a look together. If you look closely, you can see a double top on 5.7 and 5.20 showing clear resistance around 7.50. If we had seen a break above 7.50, this would have indicated that this consolidation was really preparing for a bull run. However, with this new double top recently, I'm thinking that the stock is at best a hold. And this indicates to me that with the recent double top, we should be looking for a test of the $6 range again. If it fails, we can expect the stock to drop to about five. You can see that once the stock tested the low of 486, it popped up. It then retested the resistance at $6. Once traders saw confirmation above $6, this baby flew. So I will be watching Vaxart closely after this test to see it can bounce up off of this $6 line. And if it does, this should be a great swing trade. If it fails to bounce off the $6 line, I think there's a clear buying opportunity once it approaches the bottom. I think that's probably in the 5 or 550 range. This company has a great long-term hold potential and has a history of massive swings. Thank you so much for watching our video today. If you found some value, please consider clicking the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, click the red subscribe button. My name is Michael. And I'm Shane. We are the Trending Traders. Here for you and here for growth. If you have anything you'd like to add in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. And thank you again for stopping by our channel.